What is up people this is Abhishek and I make cinematic videos tips and tutorials on filmmaking and content creation If this happens to be the first time you're here don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and also press that bell icon so that every time I come up with a video you're there to see that Let's get started So a lot of you guys must be knowing that I made my first music video from Sardar Mong Films and it was an awesome experience. If you want to look at a glimpse of it, here it goes. तेरा बाप है माना मेरी चूक है पला था जो टू फेस झूठे आंसू रोते न थे मेरे ओके हता मुझ पे भोंके दिया था न मौके तेरे जो भी साथ है वही तेरे खिलाफ है हर कर भी मैं ही जीता जीती तू गुमान है गुमान है गुमान है तेरा ही तो लॉस है यही तेरा खौफ है जिंदगी भर रोएगा क्योंकि आने वाली मौत है इन केस यू वांट टू सी द होल वीडियो द लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन डाउन बिलो यू कैन चेक इट आउट देयर So a lot of people have asked me, what all gears do I use while filming or while photography? So I was like, why not? So here it goes. So the first thing you can see is the Nikon D5100. This one camera is my first DSLR. It just does the work perfectly. So with this, I use two lenses. First lens is the kit lens that I use, and this is just about average in quality. I've used it in a few places, but I don't really prefer it. It's just that it can go from 18 to 55, which is good. But I prefer prime lenses. And here goes the next one that I use always. This is the Nifty 50. It's called the AF-S 50 mm Nikon 1.8. This 1.8 makes awesome bokeh. Currently, I'm also using the A6400, which is the next in the list. So this camera I cannot show you because I'm filming on this right now. But it's just about in the right price that I wanted it to be, and uh, the combination of A6400 with the next lens I'm going to talk about, it's it just blows my mind every time I use it. It's Sigma 16 mm uh, DCDN 1.4 lens. Now you can understand the amount of bokeh that can happen in 1.4. It's an awesome lens for photography. Awesome lens for, for videography. It does so good in low light as well. I am just in love with this lens. The next camera is basically my baby camera. This is a very nice camera, to be honest, and it's not a GoPro. It's called the Firefly 8 SE. It's from a company called the Hawk Eye. This has given me all the shots that I started off with when I was doing some moto vlogs. It has also given me. extreme good results with photos as well as videos when i went to thailand for a trip this was the one i shot most of the footage except from the one that i shot from my iphone i think everybody carries something like this and this small thing is the most important thing if i forget this thing i i cannot shoot videos without this this is a power bank from ashus 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 Wait a minute. Asus or whatever you call okay. it. Just search out. Asus it is. So this one is from Asus and it is a very nice power bank. It has 10000 mAh battery power and it saves me every time. This is one hell of an important thing for me. This is uh the microphone that I use. Remember I'm not using a microphone. Anyway, so this is the microphone that I use generally. I use it for the videos, but because I wanted to show you guys how this actually looks, this is the one I use. It's budget friendly, and I use budget friendly stuff a lot. So next most important thing I use as a videographer and a photographer, these two phones. It it sounds a bit weird that you have two or two three cameras, but you are still using your phones to shoot photos or videos. But trust me, guys. the amount of result and the processing i get from both this cameras i think um, most of the times you don't have your camera with yourself and you just need to record something just because you like it and you have nothing else but you always have your phone with yourself and i think editing in a phone is extremely easy you do not have to sit with a laptop or a computer you don't have to wait for anything your phone can pull off 
any software that you need to edit either videos or photos. One of the most important things in my gear list. Now comes an ND filter. If you don't know what an ND filter is, I think I can just tell this to be a sunglass for your lens. Let me give an example. Okay, so in case you do not want so much light to come in, you can just place this. Oh man, this is awesome. Anyway, I'm not shooting a professional video currently. So I'm okay with this, but that is how it works. The next big thing in the list is the laptop. Now, I didn't have a laptop for a long, long time and I was doing everything on the phone, but then I had this. This is a beast and trust me, this gives me enough to do whatever I'm doing currently. So this one is called the Acer Nitro 5. Big thumbs up to the to this gear. I think without this, I cannot do a lot of things that I want to do most of the times. Now the other three things that you can see are basically steps how I invested in tripods. So the first one I ever invested for a tripod, I mean a handy tripod, was this. So this is a, a generic tripod. It is no, it is a Gorilla Pod. A lot of people call calls it a Gorilla Pod. So uh, the advantage of this is that you can just make it to any shape you want, and then you can just use it this way. So I think it's it's advantageous, but uh, because it's a generic one, and I think even if it's a branded one, uh, it wears out in time, and the rubber quality and everything was not as good. Still use it at times, but now that I've upgraded to something else, and I do not uh, prefer this structure because if the camera is heavy, it just goes like this. The next one I upgraded to was the Manfrotto. Let me remember it. So it's called the Man Manfrotto Pixie Evo 2. I think uh, it, I, I feel secure with my camera if it is mounted in the Manfrotto instead of uh, the Gorilla Pod. So yeah, that is why I use it. The next one I'm gonna show you is one of the most interesting things that I have. And I think uh, when I bought it, I was the most excited because I like the way how things work and it's called a gimbal. Now, uh, if you don't know what the gimbal is, it is basically a stabilizer and it makes wonders with the amount of stabilization it provides to your video because when you, when you handle a camera, it shakes a lot. But this is what uh, I use to you know get those shakes off because and how it works is basically it has three axes uh the axes are all over here it's a x axis y axis and z axis how it works is it gets into this position and holds the camera and however i do it it just maintains the stability of the camera and that is how i get those buttery smooth footages and i think working with the gimbal is extremely interesting I, I love shooting with it. I love the form factor. This is specifically from a company called DJI, which makes uh, robots, drones, and gimbals. And this one is called the DJI Ronin SC, which is a smaller version of a more professional DJI Ronin. Uh, Ronin SC is used by a lot of videographers uh, in the market. And that pretty much wraps up everything that I have currently. Uh, the combination of my lens, which is the Sigma 16, uh, the Sony A6400 as the camera, and the DJI Ronin SC as a gimbal, and the Hoya variable ND filter slapped on to the lens is what I use in most of the cases while shooting cinematic videos. That's it for today. See you next week in another video. Till then, peace.